Hey, good afternoon. It's Wendy. I'm just doing a quick video. I just wanted to um, give you guys a quick uh, rundown. I listened to this great call this morning with an MLSP, which is my lead system pro leader. She talked about some traits of a um, an entrepreneur. She's got eight traits, kind of like a David Letterman uh, top ten list. These are the top eight traits of an entrepreneur. So one of the uh, traits that she first started out with and Michelle did was about association how important it is by the people that you associate I believe it was Jim Rohn who said I think you're a, I think he said you're an average of the five people you hang out with in your life uh, and the people I hang out with the most are my children and my husband so I must be a really great person because <laughs> they're all very uh, determined but anyway uh, so association is who you associate with. Of course, it's really great to have good associations. Um, like, of course, having like a group of people you want to master or not, you know, mess my with, but talk to, share products with, share information with. You know, you want to have be with like-minded people. Birds of a feather stick together. You want people that are sharing with your values and the same value system that you do. Because if you don't, then it makes it very difficult for you to um, get along, relate those kind of things. So association really will have a big, huge determination on how you handle things. Two or that, number seven is um, masterminding because it kind of goes back to the whole association thing. Um, make sure that you mastermind with people who are like-minded. Have a mastermind group, uh, an accountability partner. That's a really great thing with doing the hundred lead hundred day lead challenge. If you're a hundred day champions challenge, if you're not familiar with that, um, a group of people. 165 people right now are in the 100 Day Challenge, and we are working on becoming better at how we run our businesses and to trying to accomplish our goals and going out and marketing our products and helping other people and helping each other grow our businesses. And it's a really great way that we mastermind again. We talk to each other all the time on Skype. We share. We share ideas. You know, because they know things I don't know, and um, I think I might know some things they don't know. We don't know yet. Still on the jury's out on that. Yep, just kidding. Um, the next thing, number six, is you need to be coachable. That is probably one of the biggest things. Uh, Danny Johnson, I love her. I love her. I love her. She's always saying that if you're not coachable, then you're not willing to do the job. You have to be coachable. That is, I have to say, one of the biggest stumbling blocks in my life is being coachable. I have always been um, kind of a rebel. I, I always tell people I'm a rebel without a cause. Uh, me and James Dean would get along very well, and um, I don't know why, but it fi I find it very hard to be being coachable. And coach being coached is a good thing, and people sometimes will take negativity as bad, and, and it's not even negative. It's just constructive um, ways of doing things differently, things to do better. So it's just ideas how to improve what you're doing on, and that's being coachable, being willing to take the good and the bad, and take it with a great attitude, and being willing to change what you are doing or look at ways to make what is going on better okay so that's being coachable uh, number five is hyping like hyping the newest products always uh, being going out there and hyping what's going on a different product a different uh, um, set women at webinar seminar whatever just getting out there and promoting uh, next number four is invest in your education uh, most people will think that they have to do all the free stuff to get their businesses off and moving. Well, um, I went to college for five years and became a nurse. And because of that five-year education, I was able to go out and make a relatively decent income for all those years. Same thing here. We are business builders. You just weren't born a business builder. You weren't born a CEO of a company. You weren't born a leader. Um, maybe you were. I don't know. But I'm just saying, you have these pieces out there to provide you with education. So go out and buy them. Don't be afraid. Go out and learn. Drink it in. Take it. Learn it. Do it. And that goes back to your coachability, too. Number two is sharing. Make sure you're sharing. Share your your ideas, your products, your everything. Just share because if you share and share alike, it'll come back to you. You know, um, it's amazing. Whenever I share with people, I'm always gifted back like 20 times more than what I originally gave out. So um, I always feel that sharing is the best way to go. And then number one is to work. Work your butt up. Work it, work it, work it. Just work it like a business. 
Don't act it like it's a, um, don't work it like a hobby, work it like a business. This is a business. You are working to make money. You're not having a business just to sit around and have fun and not make money and just waste money because that's a hobby. So if you're working, you work your business, you work it like it's a business. All right, so I hope that helps, and I hope you guys have a great day. It's so sunny out today, and it is almost 50 degrees. So it's a beautiful day in Pennsylvania, and I um, already took, went out and fed the goats. It was a lot of fun. They all had a great time eating all the, the, the feed, and uh, then they also ate the bark on my trees. So, hey, there you go. Anyway, I uh, hope you have a wonderful day, and I will talk to you soon. Thanks a lot. Bye.